Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Drift Ghost S. So the back of the camera comes off by unscrewing the thread at the back that you can see here. This keeps a watertight seal around the battery from any light rain or showers. Once you take the battery off, you'll be able to see the battery, the micro SD card slot, the mic in port, the micro USB and the HDMI cable. Take the battery out, you push the little lever thing back and slide it out. The battery has about 3.5 hours battery life at 1080p, 30 frames per second and you get more. The micro SD card goes next to the battery and the battery slides in there and locks in with the little plastic clip. And then the back screws back on. It's got the little rubber ports for the micro USB and the um, the external microphone there. The lens on the uh, the camera is rotatable so you can turn it to mount the camera in any direction and you can turn it to uh, keep the footage upright. When you've got your camera mounted to your helmet uh, it helps to be able to rotate the lens a little bit. So here are some of the uh, the menus. Um, it has a 2 inch LCD Gorilla Glass display um, that lets you use the menu buttons and you can go through the menus and you can also review your footage that you've taken as well which is uh, pretty good. It also has um, a speaker on the camera so you can actually listen to anything that you've recorded which is which is pretty decent. You can uh, shoot at 1080p, 960p, 720p and VGA. At 1080p you can record up to 60 frames per second, same with 960, but at 720p you can record up to 120 frames per second and VGA will go up to 240. There are two bitrate modes, standard and uh, normal and high. The high bitrate mode is amazing and then there are three video settings, there's normal, vivid and low light which I have footage for you guys to show you afterwards. Here's me rotating the lens here, just playing around with it. This is how it mounts on, it's got a uh, screw which I'm not going to undo because it's set up to my helmet. Um, the adhesive curved mount goes on the side of your helmet and then the camera with the mount thing on the back slides into there and clicks into place. It's pretty sturdy, um, it won't come off your helmet as long as it's just squished in there right. It, it doesn't click or anything, it just sits in there. And this is what it looks like on the helmet. It looks pretty good. Uh, it looks a lot better than a GoPro. GoPros are quite um, bulky. And uh, here is the remote control that comes with it. So when you turn the camera on, you sync the remote control by turning it on, holding down the drift button. The green light comes on to show that it's on record mode. You can change the modes by pressing the square button on the top, which can change it for time lapse, photo burst, record, and some other ones. To press the uh, the action button which is like the drift logo it will record if you press it again it will stop recording and if you double press it while recording it will take a photo which is good and you can turn it off just by holding it down here is some footage of the different uh, modes you can see the normal on the left and the vivid on the right things to point out in the uh, the vivid mode you can see there's a lot more colour in it, the roads are looking kind of slightly blue, the speedo on my bike is lit up more and the exposure is um, is a little bit brighter, it's, it's trying to add colours on those grey days which is kind of what's in the normal. And here is the low light mode which I'm quite impressed with really. Um, it's not very good if you go into really low light areas but for driving around towns that are pretty well lit at night it's decent. And uh, that's pretty pretty much it guys. Um, I have some more videos coming up soon. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video I can review some of the things if you'd liked and um, if you'd like to buy one of these cameras then there'll be a link in the description for that where you can go and buy them from. So anyway guys thank you for watching and goodbye.